All right, what's good, y'all? So today, I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, well, not really that different. If you've seen the last video of uh, me doing the hot takes, like anime hot takes off my anime list, this is kind of like the same thing. I'm also going to do that again, a part two to that. But this is the Mortal Kombat version of it. So we're going to be looking at people's hot takes of Mortal Kombat, the franchise, the games, the movies, whatever. And this will be on Reddit. I don't have a Reddit account, as you can see. It says login. I don't have one. I'll probably make one, you know, when we blow up some more so I can have a Reddit for the community. But we are going to be looking at them and let's just start it. So the first one I'm looking at right now is this show. Mortal Kombat is all about positive messages. Saying so, Mortal Kombat live tour. <laughs> I'm dead. If you know, you know. Um, ninety percent of characters MIA inside the story. Um, I can understand that. I actually, I can understand that. One. I can understand that. I feel that. I okay. Uh, okay, this one might be the one. Other discussed that Sindel is the only DLC character to receive cosmetic support for Combat League. By cosmetic support, I mean earnable skins, Fujin, Shiva, and Shang Tsung being MK characters should have gotten at least a few badass skins. I, don't, I haven't played MK11 in, in like a minute, like a, a very while, like probably like a year. I'm not gonna lie. So I don't, I don't know. Shao Kahn got one too, but yeah, I agree. Uh, okay. They really dropped the ball on Fujin and Shang Tsung. They, they could have come up with some fun ideas for those two. I feel like the... I've spoken on this a couple times uh, as far as writing with Mortal Kombat. I feel like the writing in Mortal Kombat could be better. Just just to say a few things. The it, it, Man, it's just not great. <laughs> Like it's not terrible, but it's not great either. If you if you catch my drift, you know what I'm saying. It's just it it could be better. I feel like there's a majority of the cast that has just three four skins with a bunch of recolors. The Kamek Lee skins can sometimes be the only. Th okay, is this all the like MK11? Can I just like can we get to some other stuff? Like okay. The 3D era has the best world building and its newcomers are better than that better than any that NRS has have made, excluding Cassie and Takeda. The storyline was better pre-MK9. The NRS timeline just banks on nostalgia for the OG trilogy. Nothing wrong with those games, but there's another 10 plus years of lore they can expand on or pull from. Thank you. I I've been I've been I've been at, I've been talking about this. Oh my god, I'm stuttering. I'm all over the place, bro. I'm all over the place. I've been talking about this for a minute, man. Uh the game, bro, the game when it when it restarted, it was great. You know what I'm saying? Like cuz Armageddon was supposed to be the last one uh supposedly, and then they came back with the reboot of MK9. The story was great. But then as time went on, it was just like it's the same characters the same like like the the writing guy it feel like the writing got worse the lore the lore isn't as deep anymore like it feels like the lore isn't as deep anymore like a lot of characters aren't in the games anymore like they like they've been adding the same characters in every game and the dlc just like you got your 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 famous the famous characters and then you got the just like the same people that that's been in like a previous game that's been in the netherrealm era so it's like we we need to add more 3d people into these games and air boone said that we are and i hope hopefully that means more than one or two you know what i'm saying hopefully we get some more 3d era characters because there's a lot of characters who uh who could be built on like they have potential and if you just focus more on their backstory and give them more backstory in general like i feel like they could be straight like ashra for example like her being a demon and then like trying to better herself to get out the nether realm is like i ain't gonna i ain't gonna spend too much time on that um my problem with the 3d era is that while it did have unique and cool ideas it never fucking did anything with them Deception's idea for a story was cool, but let's be honest. It was a glorified tutorial most of the time within the 3D hub world. That is true. And a, a, a lot of people probably don't know this, but that game was not finished. 
yeah, it was a 3D like tutorial, or whatever. But that game was also not finished. I, I feel like it was supposed to be more than like it was more to it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no way that it ended on Shujinko just standing in the Nexus and not being able, like, just not doing anything. So I don't know. I agree on world building. Deception has the most world building in any MK game. The MK universe shrank with the NRS timeline with the 3D era characters and stories being thrown on table scraps because of nostalgia. I got sick of it when MK11 came out. Now, see, with this one, I agree on this one too. This is another thing that I'm saying. The NRS timeline, 9 through 11, they've only focused on two to three worlds. Mind you, there's like seven realms, like six or seven realms, maybe eight. Because <coughs> it's, it's Earth Realm, the Nether Realm, Outworld, Adenia. Earth Realm, Nether Realm, Outworld, Adenia. Order Realm, Chaos Realm. And is that it? I think so. I think that's it. You have other realms that you can go into. And you're only focusing on Earth Realm, Outworld, and another realm. You need to you need to branch out and like get into the lore of the other realms so the story can be like so you can get that that lore again, man. You gotta stop focusing on only three realms. They're shortening their stories and their the characters are getting like basic to me. Like it's just like, oh the uh he's the hero, he's this, he's that, and then this happens. Like Oh, MK, bro, they killed Liu Kang. I, don't, I hope I don't get yellow flag for this. But they, they got off Liu Kang. They, like, they, they, the villains were actually doing something in, in, those game, in those games back then. Yeah, they, they probably were losing, but they were actually doing something instead of just being there just to, like, lose to Cassie Cage and stuff like that. Like, anyways, let's see. They need to start resetting the timeline. That, too. I think because they reset it again, this needs to be the last time they reset it. I feel like this is they gotta they gotta they gotta do something. Like they like resetting it isn't gonna make anything better, bro. Like you just like it it, it like dudes he say it looks like they're stop it well not that one. This is franchise milking one on one. Now see with the DLCs and all that stuff, it's just like they re it really does kind of feel like milking. I feel like it feels like they're just not trying with these stories. I'm not gonna lie, like, and that's what it feels like. Like, it's not terrible, but you have so much lore that you could work with. Even though you reset it to timeline, there are still things that could be implemented into this timeline, like the realms and like other characters and stuff. They don't have to be the same, like the same overall person, whether it's good or bad, like Sindel, which was terrible. That shouldn't have happened, but give, give more characters some spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just the same people. Like, yeah, they can be in the game, but like, have, have other characters get more screen time. Put some more lore into them. You know, stuff like that. Okay. So here's another one. Guests are fine and actually a unique aspect of Mortal Kombat. You're never gonna get an 80s action hero fighting game, but MK11 gives us a taste. Guests provide relevance and publicity to the game. Adding Ermac to the game will be sick for long-term fans, but they're not demotivating many sales by not adding him. Now, see, this like this this isn't bad, but the thing with this is, I feel like a lot of the slot, a lot of the slots that are like being DLCs, I feel like those can be other MK characters. Like, I get it. You're trying to expand. You're trying to expand your game. Like I get it, like I, I get that I get that you're trying to do that, but you gotta like I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm not mad at the guest characters. Like I actually like them, but I would like for them to add uh, guest characters, like old MK characters that I actually like want to play as that I haven't played in a long time. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like bringing back people that were in the NRS timeline already. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was cool, but, like, I didn't ask. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Melina, Melina, Melina fans are gonna, like, Melina and Rain fans are, I, like, Rain fans are understandable because he, they literally don't put that man in the game. There's no way that he should have been DLC twice. 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 
and Melina fans are just like, they're gonna make sure that she's in the game whether you like it or not. And, oh man, it's stupid, bro, it's stupid. Somebody said, is it too much to ask for another Shaolin Monk style game? Hey, Amen. I feel like a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas are in Air Boone's mind. And if Midway didn't like go out of business, I think a lot of those ideas would have like, they would have came true. You know what I'm saying? Like they would, we would have seen them. But I feel like when they went to Warner Bros, they really don't have as much like leg room of creativity as they used to. You know what I'm saying? Like, the 3D era has so many things that they added. Those games are not perfect, but the creativity was there and you've seen it. At least a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, While I definitely like Blood, Mortal Kombat vs. DC was a good game and laid the foundation for nine in future games. I'm not gonna lie, bro, that game, that game wasn't as bad as people were saying it was. That game was not as terrible. I'm gonna be real. Like, yeah, it's not per it's not perfect, but like it, it like I, I I didn't I'm not gonna say I didn't have fun with it. Like I did. I was a little kid at the time, but like, you know, anything can be fun if you make it. So it wasn't as bad as people said it was though. Deception was the best game by far. Hey man, that's my favorite, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, get mad at you. Deception the MKX is my favorite Mortal Kombat games. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, okay, so here's another one. Despite all the hate, despite all the hate that the latest movie gets, uh it was okay and sets up the future series where the great movies would be and that's how that's how i was feeling when i saw it um i was uh i was watching it and when it ended i was just like they're they're basically saying that this is only the beginning because the tournament hasn't really even got into it yet you know what i'm saying so that's basically what the movie said to me it was okay to me but yeah it was it wasn't terrible mk11 is far MK11 is far from the worst game in, in the main series. I say that goes to four. Yeah. Yeah. Same. It, it, it is Mortal Kombat 4. <laughs> Literally. It's Mortal Kombat 4. Uh, MK11 is a good game, and I'm happy with the complete version. MK11 is a good game. But out of the trilogy, the NRS trilogy is the worst one. That doesn't mean it's a bad game, but it's my least favorite out of the out of um, nine X and eleven. The writers playing favorites to the same small group of characters over and over is getting old. I mean, isn't that how pretty much much fran all franchises work? LOL. I mean, yeah, that is that that's usually true, but. That doesn't mean it's okay. <laughs> it just depends on how the story is worked. You know what I'm saying? Like, Street Fighter is about Ryu. Ryu is the postal boy. Scorpion and Sub-Zero are the postal boys for Mortal Kombat. Are they the main characters? No. Am I mad about that? No. What I'm basically saying is the same people are the main characters. And a lot of the a lot of the MK like fights in story mode don't make sense because if we looking back on it if katana could beat shao khan in mk11 why didn't she beat him in mk9 you know what i'm saying like if, if she could just beat him like that why did all of the people have to die like what's going on bro like i guess bro
Okay, here's one. Here's one. MK9 story isn't that good because it's a weird retelling of the trilogy why characters abruptly get killed left and right. I can understand that. I can understand. I can understand that. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. MKX is the best of the modern era gameplay wise. That's not a hot take. That's actual factuals. Um, 3D era characters all deserve a second chance. Facts. Baraicho and X and Fujin and Eleven prove that. I always wanted to see what they what they do with Kai if ever like if they ever brought him back. Man, he just he just made me lose brain cells reading that. Now with Kai, I yeah, that's another thing. That's what that's what I'm saying. I know I keep saying this the whole video, but literally give these people a second chance. Yeah, they were probably boring, but you reset the timeline. Add more to their characters. Show them some more. Give them some redesign. Something. I was playing. I was playing my PS2 yesterday, and I was watching. I was playing with Hotaru, and I'm like, he probably looks boring to most people, but the Satan Guardsmen have so much potential, and the Order Room, the Order Room has so much potential of, like, what it could be, with the rivalries and the the uh, resistance, like. Oh my god, bro. I just want to. I just want. I just want more lore. I want a lot of the lore back, bro. At least make it better or something, bro. Put it back. Okay, guest characters are run in the series. MK4, Daily Alliance, and Deception are the best games in the series. No. <laughs> Not a chance. Deception, I can agree. Deadly Alliance, hey. MK4, hey, look, everybody has an opinion. But Deception, I'm rocking with it. I think MKX is in that slot, too. Yeah, the story wasn't wasn't the best, but the, the gameplay, <sighs> I had a lot of fun with that game. I didn't get off that game. I'm not going to lie. I did not get off that game. Uh, Kano, Baraka, and Rain are top-tier villains and shouldn't be treated as punching bags in the story. MK9 is an inferior retelling of the original trilogy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not say that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, MKX is better than MK11. That's not a hot take, that's true. I play MK for the fun, story, world, but in the original characters, great music, fatality, secrets, and gameplay. Not competitive tournament bullshit. <laughs> uh, man. He definitely delivered hot takes, boy. He definitely did. But a lot of the, like some of the stuff he said was not wrong. I don't know about Kano being a top tier villain. He's definitely a popular villain for sure. But as far as like the power systems and stuff go, I don't know. Baraka, Baraka and Rain are definitely slept on for sure, for sure. Also, like with the, I was just listening like the music playing like 3D air games back then with the music. Oh my god. Hey, Deception sound Deception probably is the best MK soundtrack they ever made. I'm not gonna lie, but that's just another story for another time. Um, okay. Um, all right, I'll make this. I'll make this from the last one. So it says MK11 should have brought back Onaga instead of a cop out reset. Making characters like Ermac, Sector, and Cyrex unplayable in MK11 is criminal. Original series needs to be remastered in the same way the Master Chief collection was. MK11's customization could have way better than could have been way better than what we got. Locking DLC to season passes was dumb. So it was so was locking the Cold World Scarlet skin and the rest like it behind a daily shop was the biggest dick move possible. X-rays are the worst mechanic. MK11 was pretty and had the best design in the series. Was muddy and gross like MKX, but not too cartoony like other entries. Okay, so going off the first one, MK11 should have brought brought back Onaga instead of a copy reset. That's debatable. Uh, the reset thing, I'm not really a fan of. It's like, stop. You know what I'm saying? Making characters like Ermac, Sector, and Cyrex and Playboy MK11 is criminal. Ermac, I can agree on. But at the same time, it's like, fans want people, like, fans want new characters in the on the roster, but then be asking for the same people. Like, it, it, be, it makes no sense to me. Like, 
not like he I'm not saying he's wrong because I would like them in the game too, but people be asking for the same characters back and then be like the roster is still the same. You know what I'm saying? Like they took Melina off the game and people got mad and was like put her put her back. Like yeah, she probably is a staple character, but like some got to shake, you know what I'm saying? MK11's customization could have been way better. Okay. Original series needs to be remastered in the same way the Master Chief Collection was. That's also debatable. Um, but a lot of people want that anyway. So that's really, it really isn't debatable. I'm not gonna lie. Locking DLC to season passes was dumb. I'm not, yeah. I stopped buying DLC after, um, I bought the first combat pack and didn't buy the other ones. I'm gonna be honest. So I didn't, I didn't buy Fujin and them. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't buy them. The one I got was, uh, and I had pre-ordered the game too, so I had Shao Kahn already. And so I ended and I had Combat Pack 1. It was uh, Sindel, Nightwolf, uh, Shang Tsung, and um, Terminator. Yeah, something like that. X-Rays are the worst mechanic. I like X-Rays, I'm not gonna lie. I like, I like, I like doing combos into X-Rays, but I can understand that. They do be copping people out, so. Mm. MK11 was pretty and had the best design in the series. That I can, I can agree with you on that one as far as like the graphics, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the graphics and the way that the faces look definitely top tier. Like actual human scans, I, like that's what they look like. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Uh, the, you know, just the voice acting. They got Steve Bloom to play Sub-Zero. I know he probably was in the last, like he was in the last one, but like, Steve Bloom is Sub Zero. This is them also the man that plays Spike in Cowboy Bebop. So it's like it's a W either way. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it on that, y'all. Uh, let me know. Let me know if y'all want me to do this again. I I will do it. Uh, y'all know I love Mortal Kombat, and I also will do another video. It probably will come out today. It will be on uh, the anime high techs again. So I'm out, bro. Peace. Huh. Shorty bad, she gon' ride high seat Tell that nigga he ain't winning cause he not me Make a phone call to the racks, say they got me Tell that boy don't fuck around with us, get pop like oxy